for me, I, I will give everything for these animals. They are my life. It's, this, isn't, this isn't a job. This is a life. This is a lifestyle. To be able to make a difference in their lives and in the lives of humans, it's fantastic. We get in volunteers from all over the world. They all come together for one reason, to look after these animals. It's um, the first time I came here, I took a bit of a break from being a vet because I wasn't sure if that's still what I wanted to do. And coming here kind of reminded me why I wanted to work with animals. It kind of ignites like a passion in people, even people who come here and do something completely different often leave and then end up working conservation. It kind of reminds you why you wanted to work with animals in the first place. It's just, I can't explain it. It's just such a special place. Like I said, there's people, the staff as well, half of them had real careers where they live, but then came here and it's just, you fall in love and it's, but it only takes you a couple of days to get to know everyone and then it's like one big family. The cheetah's numbers are just going down. 1900s, there were more than 100,000 cheetahs, and now there's less than 7,000. It's at this stage critical that we, the people that's breeding them in captivity, supply our bloodlines to the ones that's in a protected wild. The genetic diversity is so important. That is the only way that we will be able to save the cheetahs. I was also a bit skeptic when I heard it about the first time, but here you can see the huge difference between other farms where it's about money and people and this place where it's about the beautiful animals. The release is our end goal. It's what we want to do. We want to release cheetahs and cerebrals and everything back into the world that is viable, that can have a safe and protected life. If I just see how many people we educate and how many ambassadors we send from here, I am positive about what the future will hold, in, especially for the animals and for conservation. I'm positive.